hello and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction and we're diving back into the world of Shreya Goshal. It's been a little while um, and I just went looking through some of my comment sections on some of my past reactions to her and this was one of the recommendations i saw so i figured let's just dive on into it so it's from the movie kalank i think that's how it's pronounced and it's called garmore paradisia maybe might be close to how you pronounce it um, but it's by shreya goshal and vaishali mahade mahad maybe um, again, you guys can correct me down in the comment section. But like I said, you guys recommended this to me. I've enjoyed everything Shreya Goshal that I've been exposed to thus far, and I'm sure this is no different. As it's part of a movie, I'm assuming that Shreya is probably not going to be the person I'm seeing up front, because I know that she's a playback singer and does the vo vocals for a lot of these um, films and whatnot. So we're just going to bask in the beauty of the vocals, bask in what I'm sure is going to be a beautiful scene. I can already see it looks like maybe we're getting ready for a wedding or something. Um, the, the waterway behind them, it looks like there might be flower petals on the on the pavement and it just looks like beautiful scenery in the background. So I'm sure we're going to get some beautiful visuals and some beautiful vocals. So let's just dive on in and see what they've got in store for us. Oh, this, sorry to pause it so soon already, but this scene right here, absolutely gorgeous. The blue in the water, the contrast of the pink flower petals, the beautiful stonework of the walls, the gold trims, the, oh God, it's gorgeous. I'm only like five seconds in, sorry. Hey. Oh God, this is gorgeous. Uh, I need to watch more Bollywood films because I've said it so many times, the colors, the produ oh, the production quality is just gorgeous. Oh, this man is fine as hell. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? And how you doing? <sighs> I've said it before. I love the way just in the Indian style of music, they just ascend the scale so rapidly and so seamlessly. There's just so much for me to take in. I'm sorry to pause it again, but there's just so much visually for me to take in. A, just look at what she is wearing. It is stunning. If you've watched any of my um, reactions to Chinese series, um, you guys know I love a good costume drama because I live for the costumes, the silks and everything. And stunning, all of the gold detailing, the shears, the... Oh, this fabrics look so luxurious. And then you have all of the dancer. Oh God, and it's just like a feast, a visual feast. And then I love seeing all the fabrics from their dresses just flowing in the breeze. Ugh. Oh Lord, now we've got, wow, oh, hello, Mr. Beard, how you doing? We've got this gorgeous winged creature descending from the sky. Lord. Oh, that is gorgeous. I don't know what... Hey! Come on with this vocalization! Hey! Oh. Hold, 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 
hold on, hold on, take it. Y'all going too fast for me, hold on. I'm gonna take it back one more time. It literally feels like she is rapping with how rapidly she is just like spitting out all of these lyrics. But then there is such a mellifluous, light vocalization quality to it. It's remarkable how quickly she is just like vocalizing through all of these lyrics and having it sound so, so fast, but so light and beautiful. Oh, take it back. just. Like she has bounced around this scale. Oh god, this is gorgeous! And then the green coloration of the water. I'm gonna try not to pause it anymore, but there's just so many beautiful things I'm seeing. You ever not understand a single thing someone is saying, but get so excited by the prospect of what they are doing? The elegance and the movement. I love watching just the Every every hand motion has a fluid mo has a fluid motion. It has a purpose, and it's just so delicate and precise. You better turn. You better spot these turns, ma'am. Hello, Mr. Beard. How you doing? Oh, don't look at the camera this way, sir. I love this choreography. Like the intricacies of when the background dancers are jumping in versus when they're standing still and all the different formations. Oh. Y'all better sing the dang song. Me, you're done. No, no. Okay, no, we still got five minutes left. Oh, she is stunning. Oh my god. She is gorgeous. मैं आपसे संगीत सीखने आई हूँ। हमारे यहाँ संगीत को गाना कहते हैं। गाना सिखाने की जो कीमत है, 
I don't know if this is mother, mother-in-law. But she is stunning. Obviously, she's beautiful too. I love the depth of her tone. Her speaking voice is gorgeous, warm. Are we about to break out to another dance number? Oh. Oh, he's still my heart. Oh, he's got the like. What is this scene? You've got the the body paint, the fire, the water, the stonework. It is just like it feels like. Sorry, I don't want to keep talking over her singing. It feels like such a fantasy film. Like, I don't know what the storyline of the movie is, but this, just all the scenery that's happening, especially right now, it feels like something out of like a big blockbuster fantasy film that had a high budget and so much went, so much care and detail went into crafting these costumes, this the scenery, this background, this landscape that they're making, like it is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Every time I turn around and think that I'm not gonna see anything even more beautiful, they just bring me up with some other incredible visual. Yes, yes. I don't know what you said, but yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, mm -hmm. oh. give me these visuals. Yes, I, I, I accept. Please stop looking at me like this. I already agreed. Mm. That man knows he's beautiful. Ugh. I can really say to describe this is masterpiece it is such a masterpiece like there are so many things for me to be in awe of that it's something that I have to watch multiple times in order to really truly appreciate everything that I 
took place there. Because like if I were just listening to the song, that would be one thing. Part of me kind of wishes I had just found like a lyric version of the song or something and just listened to it on its own and just took that in before diving into this because it, there is so much happening. It's almost like sensory overload, but like in the best way. Because the visuals are just out of this world and I'm not even just talking about like I think the burning statue whatever there towards the end in that last little scene might have been CGI and whatnot so I'm not even talking about that although that was gorgeous but just the the architecture of the buildings the, again the colorations of the stone the color of the water contrasted with the color of the flower petals the color of the fabrics they're wearing how the fabrics flow in the breeze how the colors that the dancers are painted in um, versus the colors that this one's painted in versus that big ornate bird that was coming down from in during that whole parade scene and you know they chopped its head off and they had the rose petals spewing out as the blood but it was just this gorgeous cascade of flowers and it's just like it's gorgeous it is so cinematic and stunning absolutely stunning to just sit here and behold and just watch all of that like this is what this is why I love performing. This is why I love musical theater. And this is why I love seeing like some of my favorite musical theater plays and musicals adapted to the screen. Sometimes. Sometimes they, they make some choices and we're not going to talk about those choices. But this is what I'm hoping for whenever I hear that like one of my favorite musicals is being adapted to the screen and being turned into a movie. Because I feel like when you're recording these m movies, you have... Like when it's live, you just have that one chance. And if something goes wrong, something goes wrong, show must go on, blah, blah, blah. If things go right, things go right, yay. But when you're recording a movie, you have so many opportunities to shoot it again, shoot it again, shoot it from this angle and make sure that everything is just absolutely perfect. And there's just this other level of like surrealism that I expect whenever I see these adaptations these film adaptations of musicals because when you're doing stage productions you can only do so much like you can't just you can work so only work so much theater magic but you can't just like make things make full sets disappear and reappear in like a second or just like automatically change to this and the other yes you can move stuff off quickly and move stuff on quickly and you know slide of hand and do all this kind of stuff but like when you're when you're in a movie you're shooting things for a movie like you have such an ability to just like make that theater magic to the nth degree and just really capture people and just leave them in awe leave them awestruck and that's what this was for me like it was just such an awe filled experience where everything i was looking at just felt like this large grandiose um spectacle it was a spectacle and i live for a good musical number that is a spectacle give me the show and this that's what this was from all of the dancers to all of this, it's just so good and like i was saying i love just a little section where it was her and all of the female backup dancers um because just the intricacies of the hand movements alone were so impressive. But then that paired with the different formations and the just the detail that went into, okay, we're going to have this group of dancers. Now we're going to take this group of dancers. Now we're going to take this line of dancers. Now we're going to take these two dancers and these three dancers. And like there's just so much attention to detail that went into all of these little moments that was so captivating i haven't even talked about the song i'm just so in awe of the visuals the song was beautiful it felt like this celebration um the whole thing felt like just this big celebration i don't know what the lyrics were saying because they didn't have captions on this video unfortunately so i don't know if the lyrics are echoing some sort of celebration like when i first saw her when at the start of the video it looked, looked like she was a bride to be like we we're getting ready for a wedding i don't know if that is what was happening i don't know if that man was her fiance or maybe it's a love interest she had who was not her fiance or i don't know i don't know what the storyline is here but the vocals were beautiful as we expect in the beat because shreya is everything i don't know anything about vaishali outside of this is my first time hearing them but 
again, vocals were beautiful. Love, absolutely love. And just from a technical aspect, so impressive. Like there were so many times there early on, I had to pause because I'm like, the way that they are just rapidly ascending and descending, just working their way through the musical scale is so impressive. The precision, the precision with which they are hitting note, 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 bam, 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 bam. And the speed, the speed and the accuracy is so impressive. And that at the same, on top of that, it sounds good. Like, yes, a lot of people can hit notes rapidly. A lot of people can hit them in the right sequence. And, you know, not everyone necessarily sounds good doing it. But, like, she, it's just impressive. It is impressive. Oh, God. Like I said, I need to watch this, like, another two, three times just to take in everything. Because there's so many times when I was just talking, just awing over this, that, and the other, that I probably missed vocal things that were happening or I missed visual things that were happening. So it's I, I need to just watch it again and just soak it all in. But I'm going to stop fangirling right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and just my babbling. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. Um, if there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.